Hey, ma'am, we ain't got all day, you know. Shut your mouth. Don't even start with me today. You freaking clocked in a half an hour ago and just now starting to work. Bull crap, I clocked in at 5.30 this morning. Jeez Louise. When did you clock in? Let's not talk about that. <laughs> But anyways, what's up guys? How's everybody doing on this beautiful Tuesday morning? I'm good. You good? I'm good. Let's get this rocking and rolling. It was supposed to rain today, but uh, I think the weatherman lied. I don't know. It sprinkled just a tad this morning, but... But again. we're going to go out and get it done until we can't get it done anymore. Ain't that right, TQ? That is correct. Let's go. Well, the first yards of the day. Sean's out back finishing up. Very nice, very nice. It's still a little wet this morning. fellas not doing a whole lot of filming this morning we are dodging the raindrops it looks like we're gonna get hit here real soon what do you want to say tq put your seatbelt on guys so I'm gonna show you the house that I lived in as a baby basically after I was born this is where I lived boom it's for sale too going to be crazy I bought the house this fence didn't used to be here we used to play here all up in the woods and stuff I had some friends back there I can remember jumping out of one of them trees on top of a kid beating him up because he messed with my brother <laughs> I'm not kidding that's no BS I, I, out of the tree. I did I hid in that tree and then they came and I jumped on top of them. I can remember, I can remember, I believe it was my brother came down this hill right here on a tricycle. Ended up wrecking, busting his head open. Then he ran into a car right back there on the road too, busted his head open. Man, no wonder you guys are the way you are. We were pretty wild. We were pretty wild. Then uh, right here in this parking lot, there used to be a payphone. Or no, it was up here. There's still a sign there. Let me see. Yeah, there used to be a payphone for you young kids. It was, oh, it was, still it, there. Well, well, the phone's not there. The but anyways, I used to make prank phone calls from here. Don't do that though, kids, because my aunt Joanne lived here at the time, I believe it was. Yeah, a little trip down memory lane. <laughs> this is my block back in the day, Bedford Avenue. We've been dodging raindrops off and on all day long. TQ's been using the 770 quite a bit though. I want to ask her how it's running. To me, it sounds a thousand times stronger. Whoa! How's it feel compared to where it was yesterday? A lot better. A lot better? A lot more power. 
Nice. Yeah. I did a good job. Yeah. <laughs> and I am listening to you guys. If it starts acting up, we will pull out that, uh, what do they call it, the arrestor or whatever it's called. I believe it's just up in here. So, or in behind here, the spark arrestor. So, we could pull it out. I've seen guys punch holes through them before, but I'll just take it out, burn it off. Am I yelling? If you guys heard that or not, sound like a fight. Turn the uh, resin off of there, or just pick up a new screen, whatever you know. Let's move on to the next one. Fellas, just knock this one out, and then, like we said last week, TQ will show you guys. We knocked that one out too. Very nice. The lady over here is 99 years old, fellas. Still getting around too. Cooks, yeah. cleans. Yeah, she walked down the yard, went over to the neighbor's house, told him to move her car. <laughs> I mean, she ain't playing around. I don't think that car's being moved anytime soon. <laughs> no, it's sitting on rims. But uh, yeah, knock those two out. It's currently 159. We're rolling on through them today. Working a little too hard. A little too hard. You're hardly working. TQ knocking it out. The good old dandelions are coming in. Boom! <laughs> what? What are you doing? I'm listening to the pastor. Okay. He's talking about how big of a difference you can make no matter how bad you've ever been. TQ's been pretty bad. So everybody keeps asking me, what do I think so far of the right stander? So I'll give you guys a little bit of what I think of it so far. I'm not going to go crazy in depth on it because guys, I've simply been running it now for about three weeks total. So I don't want to say, oh, it's the greatest thing on the planet. And then, you know, I start having issues with it or whatever. As of right now, we've had zero issues with it. Uh, it's been cutting just fine for us. We do get a little bit of clumping when it's wet, but I mean... About any mower I've ever ran from a Cheetah to an X-Mark, you know, this, a Toro, they all clump if the lawns are wet and a bit tall. And it's springtime. They're growing like crazy. We're getting a solid five inches of growth right now from week to week. Other than that, it's been super powerful, cutting really well. The speed has been okay. That could be kind of on my side still learning the machine, figuring out how to use the machine properly, and as you guys know, I've added a few extras onto it. So utilizing those also, the quick shoot, you know, the trimmer uh, holder, those things are all things that are meant to make me faster in the long run for the business. Uh, so far, the deck on this, I will say guys, if you're not keeping on top of it, it will clog up on you, especially in this wet stuff. So I just been spraying it out, keeping it scraped out, uh, not trying to get really in depth with it too much, but just keeping it pretty clean I'm not trying to make it spick and spam, but just making sure it's not clumping really good under there Other than that the Vanguard has been great so far. I really hope I'm not jinxing myself with any of this uh, Everything else, you know the the right stander one of the main reasons we purchase it is it's a pretty low maintenance machine guys It's not like a skag cheetah where you have to grease the spindles every other day or so yeah monsters what I think of the right ZK standard so far, it's doing perfectly fine for me. 
like any product that I review or give you guys feedback on, I want to put some time under it. I want to give it a run for a while before I go ahead and say, yes, guys, I would highly recommend this. But as of right now, it's a great machine. It's doing everything and anything we could possibly ask it to do. All right, Lawn Monsters, that's going to be a day for us. TQ's got to take a little shot in the tutoring. But we got a lot accomplished this week, huh? We did. The uh, route consolidated itself down just a little bit because simply we weren't spending as much time cleaning stuff up. Right. Picking up sticks, you know, picking up trash, that stuff's all time consuming. Uh, the mowing's taking a little bit longer this week simply because it's wetter and taller, obviously, since the first cuts last week. But I think we've gotten a lot done. Nice, nice and smooth. Now that we, like, oh, you shouldn't have said that, TQ. You shouldn't have said nice and smooth. We know our new, we know our new, uh, our new yard. We know our new yards, and what are you doing? Put the windows up. What are you trying to say here, TQ? Now that we know our new yards, we can fly through a little quicker. Yeah, a little bit, I guess. So, hey guys, as always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. This conversation is going to continue once I turn this camera on. No, it's not. It's mm -hmm. shut down. Peace, Boop. guys.